Hi, in this video, I will be teaching you how to perform post hoc analysis for test of significant difference for three or more groups in our studio. The post hoc tests that we will use are Toki HSD, Games Howell, and Done Test. But before we start the demonstration, let's first install the package that we need to perform post hoc analysis, which is the R statics package. To install and load the R statics package, we type install dot packages open parentheses quotation mark R statics. On the next line, we type library open parentheses R statics. Highlight the codes and press Ctrl Enter. Simply wait for it to download, install, and load the package. The R statics package will allow us to perform Toki HSD, Games Howl, and Done Test in our studio. Let's discuss the Toki HSD test. This test is a single step multiple comparison procedure to find means that are significantly different from each other. We use this test if we used classic ANOVA to analyze our data. The R function is given below. Take underscore HSD function allows us to perform Take HSD test in R Studio using the R statics package. AOV dash result argument is where the ANOVA result was stored, whereas the group argument inside the quotation mark is the grouping variable. The Games Howell post hoc test is a non parametric approach to compare combinations of groups or treatments. Although rather similar to Take tests in its formulation, the Games Howell test does not assume equal variances and sample sizes. The test was designed based on Welch degrees of freedom correction and uses Take studentized range distribution. Therefore, we use Games Howell test if we use the Welch ANOVA to analyze our data. The R function is given below. Games underscore Howell underscore test function allows us to perform Games Howell's test in R Studio using the R statics package. The data argument is where the data are stored. Dependent contains the variable that was measured during the data gathering procedure, also known as the dependent variable, whereas group contains the grouping variable, also known as the independent variable. Finally, Done test is a non-parametric multiple comparison test procedure that compares each of a number of treatments with a single control. We use this test if we use the Kruskal-Wallis test to analyze our data. The R function is given below. Done underscore test function allows us to perform done test in R Studio using the R statics package. The data argument is where the data are stored. Dependent contains the variable that was measured during the data gathering procedure, also known as the dependent variable, whereas group contains the grouping variable, also known as the independent variable. In this demonstration, we will be using the result we had in the previous video. We will start with performance dataset using the T1 and stress variables. Just to rerun the analysis, we type the following codes. Library Daterium. On the next line, we type result AOV open parentheses T1 tilde stress comma performance. On the third line, we type summary. Open parentheses, result. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Recall that we use the classic ANOVA to test whether at least one group is significantly different from the other. Furthermore, we rejected the null hypothesis and accepted the alternative hypothesis. Hence the need to perform a post hoc test. Since we use the classic ANOVA in this analysis, the appropriate post hoc test is the Take HSD. We perform this test in our studio by typing take underscore HSD open parentheses result 
comma, quotation, stress. Tucky underscore HSD allows us to perform a Tucky HSD test in our studio. The result argument indicates where the ANOVA analysis is stored. Recall that we store the result of our previous analysis in the result object, whereas the stress argument indicates the grouping variable. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, we see the result. There are a lot to see here, but we will focus on the last two columns of the result. To identify which group is significantly different from the others, all we need to do is to identify which pair produced significant results. This is indicated with asterisk on the PUDGE SIGNIF column, and you can see the p-values on the p-edge column. As we can see here, low-high pair has a p-value of 0.00403, which is significant. This means that the low group is significantly different from the high group. Similarly, moderate-high pair has a p-value of 0.00000526, which is also significant. This means that the moderate group is significantly different from the high group. However, the low moderate pair has a p-value of 0.128, which is not significant. This means that low and moderate group may not be significantly different after all. To further investigate, we can calculate the mean and standard deviation of T1 when grouped according to stress variable. We type performance. Percent greater than percent sign. Enter. Group underscore by. Open parentheses. Stress. Forward percent greater than percent sign. Enter the player. Double colon. Summarize. Open parentheses. Mean equals mean open parenthesis t1 forward sd equals sign sd open parenthesis t1 highlight the code and press ctrl enter in the console window we see the result notice that the high group garnered the smallest mean compared to the two groups this means that employees who are exposed in high level of stress significantly perform poorly on the first month compared to other groups on average, based on empirical result. We can also visualize this by creating box plot. We type box plot, open parentheses, t1, tilde, stress, comma, performance. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Again, we have the same observations for this case. For our next example, we will still use the performance dataset, but in this case, we will consider T2 and stress variable. Just to rerun the analysis, we type the following code. Cruscal .test, open parentheses, T2, tilde, stress comma performance highlight the code and press control enter recall that we use the cruscal wallis test to test whether at least one group is significantly different from the other furthermore we rejected the null hypothesis and accepted the alternative hypothesis hence the need to perform a post hoc test since we use the cruscal wallis test in this analysis the appropriate post hoc test is the done test. We perform this in our studio by typing done underscore test open parentheses performance comma t2 tilde stress. Done underscore test allows us to perform done test in our studio. The performance argument indicates where the dataset is stored whereas t2 tilde stress argument tells us to group the t2 variable using the stress variable. Highlight the code 
and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, we see the result. We still check the last two columns of the result and identify which group is significantly different from the others. All we need to do is to identify which pair produced significant result. This is indicated with asterisk on the p -Udge Signif column and you can see the p-values on the p -Udge column. As we can see here, low high pair has a p-value of 0 0.0107 which is significant. This means that the low group is significantly different from the high group. Similarly, moderate high pair has a p-value of 0 0.0345 which is also significant. This means that the moderate group is significantly different from the high group. However, the low moderate pair has a p-value of 0 0.593 which is not significant. This means that low and moderate group may not be significantly different after all. To further investigate, we can calculate the median and interquartile range of T2 when grouped according to stress. We type performance. Percent greater than percent sign. Enter group underscore by open parenthesis stress forward percent greater than percent sign. Enter the player double colon summarize open parenthesis median. Equal sign median, open parenthesis, T2, forward, comma, IQR, equal sign IQR, open parenthesis, T2. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, we see the result. Notice that the high group garnered the smallest median compared to the two groups. This means that employees who are exposed in high level of stress significantly perform poorly on the second month based on their median scores compared to other groups. We can also visualize this by creating box plot. We type box plot, open parenthesis, T2, tilde, stress, comma, Performance. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Again, we have the same observations for this case. For our last example, we will be using the results we had for the business data set using the opportunity evaluation and age variables. We rerun the analysis by typing one way the test. Open parenthesis, opportunity evaluation, tilde age, comma, data1. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Recall that we use the Welch ANOVA to test whether at least one group is significantly different from the others. Furthermore, we rejected the null hypothesis and accepted the alternative hypothesis, hence the need to perform a post hoc test. Since we used Welch ANOVA in this analysis, the appropriate post hoc test is the Games Howell test. We perform this in RStudio by typing Games underscore Howell underscore test open parenthesis data1 comma Opportunity Evaluation Tilde Age Games underscore Howell underscore test allows us to perform a Games Howell test in our studio. Data1 argument indicates where the data is stored, whereas the opportunity.evaluation tilde age argument tells us to group the opportunity evaluation variable using the age variable. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, we see the result. There are a lot to see here but we will focus on the last column of the result, 
similar to what we are doing earlier. To identify which group is significantly different from the others, all we need to do is to identify which pair of observation produce significant results. As we can see here, only 20 to 25 and 36 to 40 are significantly different from each other since the p-value for this pair, which is equal to 0 0.024, is less than the significance level, which was set to 0 0.05. Other pairs produce insignificant results. To further investigate, we can calculate the mean and standard deviation of opportunity evaluation when grouped according to age. We type data 1, percent greater than percent sign, enter, group, underscore by, open parentheses, age, forward, percent greater than percent sign, enter, the player, double colon, summarize, open parentheses, mean, equals, mean, open parentheses, opportunity evaluation, forward, comma, SD, equal sign, SD, Open parentheses, opportunity evaluation. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. In the console window, we see the result. Notice that the mean for 20 to 25 age group is relatively small compared to 36 to 40 age group. This means that 20 to 25 years old has lower opportunity evaluation score compared to 36 to 40 years old on average. Other age groups may be assumed to have equal opportunity evaluation scores. We can also visualize this by creating box plot. We type box plot, open parentheses, opportunity evaluation, tilde age, comma, data 1. Highlight the code and press Ctrl Enter. Again, we have the same observations for this case. That ends our video and I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.